Hi guys, it's Borix and hello, welcome to my channel if you are new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. So today guys, today's video was originally guys supposed to be my piercing tour 2024, but I just got it. Guys, I just got the shower so I couldn't find the bags where I put my earrings at. So I was like, you know what, guys? <laughs> Next time my hair is wet, I just got the shower washed it. So today's video is going to be Celebrity Crush Edition, Devin Bostic. Guys, the odd phenomenon is I could have sworn up and down. I filmed this video. Now, guys, I could have and it gotten lost. So please excuse me. It could have and it gotten lost. A lot of times my stuff does get lost in footage. Because I have three devices I film on. I checked all three. It's not on there. Between the phone and the tablets. So today, guys, for the do, let's talk about them. So guys, Devin Bostic was born. Let me see if I can tilt out my head. Because both of my tablets are dead. November 18th, 1991. Yeah, Devin's a few months. Not a few months older than me. So, guys, I discovered Devin one day Googling this. I discovered a lot of my celebrity husbands. I I Google them. And also, guys, if you have anything nasty to say about Devin or about me having the hots for him, please keep that to yourself. Uh, I personally doesn't have, don't have a good experience with the name Devin. I mean, I have a girl cousin with the name. And then I, I knew a couple girls with the name. And then my high school bully and my, my bully out throughout the whole school years. His name was Devin, but it has nothing to do with Devin Bostic. And also, a nice guy in school was named Devin, so it kind of, like, waited out. But anyway. Sorry, guys. That's my fridge in the background. You always hear buzz, buzz, buzz. So, anyway, guys, I discovered him and Googling him. And I know I heard of Diary of Wimpy Kid because I just thought I was too old for it because I had watched a young girl who was age appropriate for it. Maybe a little too young for, you know, she was... Maybe, oh yeah, she was like a February before. She was about like in first grade or so. I don't think Diary would be a kid. What is that? Like, that sounds fun. <laughs> and I was like, okay, maybe I'm a little too old for it. I was like 17 or 18. I'm like, I'm a little too old for this. Oh well, oh well. We know, guys, I bought the DVDs on the strength of him. I, I don't know for him, but I heard about anybody else in the um, movie before. But I bought, I went and bought Diary of Wimpy Kid, the first one. On the strength of the fact that Devin Bostic is the most, almost most handsomest man I've ever seen in my life. Guys, I tell you, I watched it and was hooked. I even brought the DVD out and showed it to my father. He likes them too. So I was like, okay, you know what we're going to do? I bought this. That's one of the first. Guys, normally when you buy something on the strength of the actor, you don't like it. I'm going to say this right now because I changed my mind. When I was younger... Uh, for Christmas, I got Avatar, The Last Airbender. Because my dad figured, all my friends saw it, I, my friends didn't really care for it. But guys, I had a thing for Jackson Rathbone at the time, so I played it and did not, it wasn't my cup of tea. Now guys, hold on guys. Guys, let me say, I just watched about an hour of the movie around Christmas time and really liked it. I could have just been, maybe I was in the mood for that kind of a movie at the moment. That's why I say, guys, and I watched Alex Ryder the first time, didn't like it. The second time was it was good. It was all right. <laughs> so, guys, I say always watch something. Give something at least three or four watches before you agree you don't like it. But anyway, guys, I was hooked on anything Devin Bostic. That like, that is my husband. Like, if I could get him, he better watch out. And I don't even want his money or nothing. I just want to have a husband. Anyway, guys, I went out and bought the other two movies. It was a glitch. He accidentally sold me two of the, of the third movie. I said the first and the second, I believe it was. But guys, when I got him home, I watched Roderick and loved it. My dad said, this character is so familiar. He's so relatable. And I was like, yes, there's just something about I'm not going to say what my dad said because <laughs> uh, I don't want anyone's feelings there. My dad said, he reminds me of someone we actually know, right? And I was like, yes, he does. One of my cousins. And I was like, I know, right? Like, I was like, he so reminds me of him too. Oh, like, he still reminds me of Mike, too, Dad. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that, is an, that is an insult, too. These guys, I mean, everyone's Mike in this family, so you guys are like, yeah. Anyway, 
I watched it and it felt instant fluff. I'm attracted to Devin Bostick, so eh, obviously. I, gotta, I watched all three movies and loved them, guys. I never seen the fourth because they changed the whole cast over. But I I love anything Devin Bostick is in. It's like anything he touches is so oh, it's actually he's the he's the reason it got me to watch the one hundred when it came out. T V show the sci fi T V show on the CW. It's no longer running, but Devin Sorry guys, I'm filming with my phone, so I keep like fading in now. Devin is the reason why I watched it. And they actually said they were gonna kill Jess Roth, but I don't wanna give out spoilers. Guys, I actually thought it was Devin Bostick, but I wasn't quite sure because I'm used to, I was just him looking like Roderick, and all of a sudden he's older and sexier. I'm like, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Until I, um, uh, the, the, the girl who plays, because I almost said her name wrong, um, Aisha is not her name. <laughs> I, okay, anyway, the girl who, her name is escaping me for. Liza, is it, guys? Her name is escaping me for a moment to play Clark. And that's not good, because I watched a lot of videos with her name, because I also love Richard Harmon, if you guys didn't know. Uh, anyway, you guys probably do. I made a video about being in love with Richard Harmon. <laughs> uh, guys, yeah, Devin Bostick is gorgeous. Um, I think the way they played him in The 100 was a little... They cheated his character a lot. Sorry, guys, I'm humming his game on my nerves. But anyway, I I used to follow his tweets. I may have asked him to marry me a few times. Like this guy might think I'm a weirdo. No, I, I think I was good. I don't know. I don't remember if I did or not. If I did, I'm sorry, Devin, if you watch this. Um, huh, guys, I just I like to make different kinds of videos, guys. So I'm not just constantly just making doll content for you guys. Because some of you guys may like my personality, but not the dolls, the animals, and action figures. So, guys, yeah, Devin Bostick is really, really cute. And I've liked him since I was, like, 19. He's really, really cute. He's, oh, I can't say so much about it. I love that brown hair, the olive complexed and the, the dark hair. The almost black hair. Guys, my visual impairment, I can't tell, guys. I keep looking this way. I'm sorry. It's very rude. I'm trying to Anyway, guys, I don't know if Devin's hair is black or brown. I think it's dark, dark brown, but I'm not sure. Could be black. Uh, guys, black and brown, like dark brown and black, just blend with me. Because of my vision, they blend. But yeah, Devin Bostick is really cute. I mean, yeah, my, my hair, though, looks, looks sort of like it could be. Black or brown. My hair is actually probably dark, dark, dark brown, but yes. Sometimes, guys, my color, my eyes don't always see what the color it is. But yeah, oh, I'm not sure people would like me, but okay. Yeah, Devin Bostick is really hot. <sighs> what else has he been in? Mm, I don't know what else he's been in in a while, guys. Oh, he was in a movie. I'm sorry, it was a TV show about. Being an altar boy and been the Catholic Church and how the priest was whoop was whoop whoop I can't see on YouTube and how the altar boy was a some some seller a some some dealer but I can't say that I believe on the internet I'll get, I'll get demonetized but you know, Devin got to say it but he had to end up apologizing to the Catholic Church so the the, the showrunners on the show never got picked up. And Devin, I think at the time, was even too old to play altar boy. Because they asked my brother Derek to be an altar boy. And he was like 12, bro. Like, what? And, they, and my uncle, actually, fun fact, was an altar boy. My dad's brother. So, my, my, and they asked, they asked me to be an altar girl. But I was like, no, I don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't want to be a bird boy. Don't care. Like, anyway, guys, I know. I'm obsessed with Devin Bostic. I think about him. I dream about him. Yes, guys, I dream about Devin Bostic. It's really weird, but it's fine. I'm sorry if this isn't your type of video, but if it isn't, you can go click on many, many, many others. Okay, guys, I'm probably going to end this here, and I'm going to think of what else Devin's in as soon as I click on poll. But I have a cap cut, so I can edit. Okay, guys, remember to comment, like, share, subscribe. Go over and hit that bell to be notified every time I upload. And if comments are on, I always say comments. 
Comment down below who your celebrity crush is. I got so many, I can't even name them all. Bye, guys.